If you've been keeping up with the web development community, you may have heard about Layer Zero. A growing number of companies, specifically e-commerce companies, are now using Layer Zero to develop and manage their web application. It doesn't matter if you have a static Jamstack site with hundreds of pages or a dynamic site with millions of pages, Layer Zero will allow you to deploy your site to their edge network, dramatically decreasing your site load times. The best part about this is that it takes literally minutes to sign up and have your first project deployed and running. Here on the homepage, you can see some of the companies who are currently live on Layer Zero and are seeing sub-second LCP times on hundreds of thousands of pages. Two of the best features of Layer Zero are EdgeJS and prefetching. Traditionally, you'd use CDNs to cache your digital assets, like images and videos, to reduce site load times. By using EdgeJS, you can now cache your API response in addition to digital assets, which A, reduces load on your backend systems, and B, allows for sub-second page load times. Layer Zero also provides the flexibility for you to continue using your current CDN for caching assets if you want to, and then add Layer Zero to cache your site's pages. This reduces the amount of work required for you, so much so that our clients have implemented, tested, and went live with Layer Zero in weeks. In my opinion, this by itself is enough of a reason to try it out. Layer Zero put the cherry on top with prefetching. Now the way we normally think about improving site speed is to reduce the time it takes for data to be available on a user's device after they have taken an action. Like say, when they click on a product. With prefetching, Layer Zero intelligently predicts the data that the user might need, even before the user action is taken, and retrieves that information in advance. So now when a user clicks on the product, the data is already available and the page load is near instant. This prefetching is only done for pages, which are already cached on the Layer Zero network, so this has no impact whatsoever on your backend systems. If all this has made you excited to give Layer Zero a try, you might be wondering about pricing. To get started, Layer Zero provides a free tier where you can deploy your project and get 100 gigabytes per month of bandwidth, a custom domain, and all of these features, which would be more than enough for your personal site or any small website. There's also an enterprise tier, so if you have a large website and want to benefit from all the features Layer Zero offers listed here, you might want to check out the Enterprise tier. Now, if you're excited about trying this out, there are a few things I wanted to make sure I cover in this video. The developer documentation is laid out neatly for each of the popular frameworks with step-by-step -step details on how to get up and running on Layer Zero. If you have a simple HTML site or a framework that you don't see here, you should check out Layer Zero for traditional sites which we've built to allow users to benefit from all of these features on any framework of their choosing. Once you sign up, you'll have access to our intercom chat, where you can get in touch with us to resolve any issues that you may face along the way. You can also check out our forums, where you can find answers to commonly asked questions or ask your own. So that's Layer Zero. I hope you found this helpful, and have a great day.